everyone with a roadmap on the steps we are taking in today's meetings. We're able to meet virtually today because of Governor Cuomo's emergency order 202.1, which suspended certain portions of the public officer's law. This had the effect of allowing for public bodies like the New York City Council to meet virtually. We were also able to meet pursuant to the mayor's executive order 100, which suspended section 42 of the New York City Charter to the extent it requires the city council to hold meetings as provided by its rules and requires us to have two stated meetings per month. This means that we do not need to follow our council rules regulating stated meetings, including the in-person voting requirement. Based on those executive orders, we are gonna move forward with today's meeting and we'll be following all of our rules except for rule 8.40A requiring in-person voting. Here is what will happen. First, we'll vote on a motion from council member Karen Kozlowitz, the chair of our rules committee, that allows for the suspension of city council rules that would otherwise prevent us from conducting our regular business virtually. After we vote on that motion, we will take a recess from this stated meeting. Then I will suspend the rule requiring in-person votes for committees. And we will then have a meeting of the committee of the whole. That is a committee made up of all of the members of the city council. The reason why we are convening the committee on the whole is to enable the council to seamlessly pass laws and resolutions out of committee and still vote on them today, the ones we'll be voting on today. After that committee meets, we will then reconvene the stated meeting and consider the items that pass the committee of the whole, along with other items that were already passed through committees prior to the coronavirus hitting New York City. For all of these steps, we will stay in the same Zoom conference. So the Zoom conference that you're in right now or that you're watching right now is the same Zoom conference where all of this will occur. With that, I turn the floor back to you, Madam Majority Leader Cumbo. Thank you, Speaker Corey Johnson. At this time, I would now like to recognize Council Member Koslowitz, the chair of our Committee on Rules, Privileges and Elections. Thank you very much. I move to suspend the rules of the council pursuant to rule 10.20 in relation to certain emergency measures to respond to the public health risk posed by the coronavirus. The suspension and this amendment to the rules of the council would only last for the duration of the declared coronavirus emergency by the governor of New York State or the mayor of New York City pursuant to New York executive law. Since I have not provided one week notice 